Hey Cancer, welcome to Tourmaline Tarot. Um, I was going to try and do formal spreads, but cards say, zip it lady, just shuffle. And I say, okay. Um, so, like I said, general for August. If it resonates with you, you'll probably know in the first couple minutes. If it ain't for you, you, you know, you, you'll probably get the gist. So, starting off just for a general vibe, we have Knight of Wands reversed, Ace of Wands, and then the Page of Cups are reversed. There's something that might have started quickly um, or something that felt rushed, but then there was a reset to be like, okay, let's do this right. But then the Page of Cups, there still might be a little bit of, um, how do I feel about this? Like, what does this look like? Or, you know, there could be something that you have to kind of reevaluate with the Eight of Cups, having to kind of walk away from something, figure something out. That's too many. Give me Ace of Wands. What is getting started? The King of Pentacles reversed. I feel like there was a false start in some way and Justice reversed. But I don't feel like it got too far along where something felt a little impulsive, a little like, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll try it. But then if that wasn't it, it was like, okay, well, let's fix it. Let's go back to it again. Or the three of wands and three of cups. Somebody could have just been having a good time. And it's kind of like, okay, let's get serious. Like, burr, burr. what is this eight of cups? So, you know, also the sun. So, yeah, it's like, let's figure this out. Let's kind of, you know, actually really look at this. Let's kind of, you know, if we're having a good time, let's really kind of give it some legs, if that's the thing. Um, I also get, like, this summer love vibe. You know how it's, what do the kids call it these days? Cuffin' season? Um, yeah, so there is something that was kind of impulsive that might not have had legs, you know, it wasn't bad. It was a good time, but it's like, okay, well, let's look how we're really going to do this. If we're going to do it, you know, and it doesn't have to be a relationship. It could just be like, you know, it doesn't, I'm not getting jobs so much, but stuff you want to do. You could have been in the middle of it and been like, this isn't it. And then, so you just have to figure it out again. So like I said, cards are just like, I do what I want. Lady, you shut up and shuffle. So that's kind of what they're doing for me today. We got the Ten of Wands coming out. Um, they do want to do Nine card, and they're like, you take what I give you. Um, Page of Cups and Lovers Reversed. So like I said, there's that start, but it ain't it yet. And then Eight of Swords Reversed, which is nice. So then we have King of Cups in the center. What is the center for Cancer? Okay. That's too many, guys. But the Emperor's like, look at me. Okay. Hi. Hi, guys. The Emperor's like, I'm not going down that easy. Like I said, the cards are just like, I give you what I give you. You know, it's almost, like, lady, just translate. I don't care. Said what I said. So, then we have full reversed, sun reversed, with the three of swords to the outcome. All right, listen, it's not necessarily the outcome, because we're reading them all together as one whole thing. Um, I don't think this is bad. In some way, remember I said something kind of started... Could have been a little impulsive or a good time but now it's like when you try and give it legs how do we make this work because if we're looking in the center you have the um do, do, do. six of pentacles reversed so something's not balanced something is inequitable something's not getting the attention or time it needs well that has to end because here's the world and someone needs to take control of it you know that janet jackson song i'm only kicking it like 35 years ago it's fine um you know but being in control bull by horns all that kind of jazz um so looking at the corners you have ten of wands 
Eight of Swords reversed, the Fool reversed, and then Three of Swords. If there's some kind of burden, you're putting it down, you're freeing yourself up. That's delightful, but at the same time, it's almost like, um, you know, you can't keep moving until this other stuff kind of frees up. So that's where I feel like this Three of Swords element's coming in. I don't think it's that big heartbreak, oh no, and we'll clarify too when we get there, but it's more like you want to go, but you can't quite go because there's stuff that still has to get wrapped up. And with this Eight of Swords reversed, you know, it is freeing up. You're not, there is no stuckness, but the direction hasn't been decided yet. So that could be where it's like, come on. <laughs> so with this Ten of Wands, Page of Cups, and Lovers reversed with the Eight of Swords reversed. Um, the Lovers reversed, for me, that's decision as well as, you know, a romantic relationship. It doesn't necessarily have to be romantic. I take that back. So just kind of relationships in general. There could be kind of this page of cups where, like I said, there's just like, if there's not enough to stand on, um, you kind of have to kind of give it some room. You know, give it some room. Or if decisions aren't being made about how someone or something feels, that could be you, that could be something else. It's just like, all right, well, I can't really stick around. Sorry. You know? So the King of Cups, though, for me, that's promising. Because, like I said, if something isn't given the time or the attention, it, it you gotta, you know, just put a fork in it and emperor it. But then with the Seven of Cups, you do have this thing where, you know, for me, sometimes people are like, oh, Seven of Cups is confusion. But with me, it's stars. Like, you're literally picking options you have them now it's like you have door number one through seven and let's choose something the full reverse sun reversed and the three of swords there could be something where you don't want to move away from it you don't want you don't want to illuminate this i'm almost getting like moon vibes out of the sun reversed it's like if you're giving one more shot one more opportunity but like you don't want to see it, you're also not really honoring yourself and you kind of put yourself in that Three of Swords space where, you know, it does kind of hurt. Like, you know, because for me, Three of Swords is you, a situation, a person, and then the truth of it, the clarity, almost like the Ace of Swords. But it's like you see it, you want it, but you can't, like you don't know what is the thing that's going to allow it to happen or move but ten of wands king of cups and full reversed it's like you are kind of mastering your emotions and you're feeling it feeling something or actually i feel like in some way you feel like something has potential and you're like well i can't put a fork in it yet and then with the age of cups the lovers reversed and then this run here um, in some way you might not feel like you have the opportunity yet to take control. So then what are you taking control of? And you're like, eh, but there is a freeing up and seeing the options and the options. Um, I don't get that it's overwhelming, but you didn't want to have to have the options in the first place. Potentially you're like, I didn't want that option. I wanted the old option that is no longer an option. And like I said, that could be either a person, relationship, situation, whatever it is. Um, I don't feel like you're kind of getting the boot exactly, but it's like you're on... I'm not saying you're being forced, but there is kind of like a, a, a little bit of a shoving, being like edged out of something, and you're like, come on! The universe is like, you know, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. <laughs> All right, so, Three of Swords. Let's just get right to it. Let's clarify that. Like, let's get right on it. Okay, and stuff is like all over the place. Two of Pentacles. We're hitting balance again. We're hitting decision points. We are, you know, could potentially feel like we're juggling 
until stuff settles. Ace of Swords. Remember how I said there's the Ace of Swords quality to the Three of Swords? Ta-da! So until there is that kind of clarity, I mean, this guy's literally holding a key. Until there's just that boom, like, you know, mic drop in some way. Because what is this sun about? Four of Pentacles. There's a letting go. There's a release. Eight of Swords, there's a release. You know, and I feel like you have to allow yourself. But like I said, there's this nudge. There's, there's little shoves where you're like, come on. And you're being asked to take control. You're being asked to emperor up. And I'm not saying it's a slog, but I feel like with the magician and three of pentacles, once you get, I feel like once you get a nibble, once you get a taste of like what else is out there, what are you're capable of manifesting, what is available for you to work on. And also the three of pentacles is collaboration. So there could be kind of help coming along in some way, or there could be people that you click with that give you ideas or um, kind of help open up pathways, pathways for you to kind of do this manifestation thing. But like I said, once you get a taste, once you get to nipple, it's going to be like, oh, I can't, I can't put it down. It's like, it, it's like, it's chips. You're going to eat the whole bag. I know everything goes back to food with me. <laughs> I realize how many food metaphors I make, but um, let's see. What is this? All right, this was way too much, but it was the emperor, the other emperor, Knight of Wands and King of Pentacles. So I do want a cleaner thing, but it is kind of giving confirmation that, yeah, you're, you're, you're taking control here. So this Ace of Swords, what is that about? We have the Nine of Cups reversed with the Two of Cups. So I feel like what you want and what your wishes are, you kind of have to figure them out again. But it looks different, but you still get fulfilled by it with the Two of Cups. So you could be on to new goals, new things that you're trying that are going to be, I'm not going to say more fulfilling than what you were in before, but there is something that feels a lot more reciprocal. You getting the attention that you want. And in fact, I'm actually going to venture and be like, I'm not sure you want the attention that you will be getting. Because it's almost, you're like, I'm on to something, I'm on to something else. But, um, you know, just watch. I wouldn't, you know, shoot it down. If it feels good, give it a shot. But like I said, I feel like you're onto onto other stuff. And you will be getting attention, but it's almost like you're like, I don't want that. I got I got other good stuff going on here. I'm free. Yeah, because this five of pentacles with the fool. That's like you're coming out of something. It's like a reemergence. Also, um also I get the feeling that if you in some way have felt like others have been setting you apart or hindering you moving forward on something because they haven't taken action on things you're letting that go they're not carrying it anymore because with this ten of wands let's see exactly what we're putting down king of wands you're in you're in kind of a go mode and this king of cups Wheel of Fortune and King of Pentacles. It's time to get out of your feels and kind of, you know, get into the more practical stuff. But there is this evolution that you're kind of going through where it's like, no, I'm, I'm freed up. I'm taking control. I have the latitude to make decisions. And it's like, I feel like potentially when this stuff is starting to happen, and like you said, you get that taste of this capability that you have to make these things happen when you start getting attention, you're just like, I don't even want it now. Like, I've got, I've, I'm like fulfilled here. I've got these cups going. Um, but I feel like you might hear them out. You might let it ride for a minute. 
I think I, you know, I'm not saying it's funny, but it's just like, <laughs> I tried that. It wasn't for me because I got this other stuff going on. We have the Queen of Chalices reversed. I'm moving on to another deck now. So Queen of Chalices reversed. We have the Ace of Wands reversed. Ace of Chalices reversed and the Two of Chalices reversed. I almost feel like, you know, you don't want to put energy into another relationship or anything that's emotional. Because like I said, once you get a taste, of, you're like, I'm not doing that. Um, you know, I'm not saying you're shooting yourself in the foot, but honestly, with the, that Seven of uh, Cups, it's like you have options. So it's almost like if you, I hate to say it, but it's like buses. Another one comes along every 15 minutes, so. Um, but, you know, with the Two of Cups being there, the only thing I could say is just, you know, make sure you're absolutely sure you're just like, eh. But also, conversely... If, it, if it's worth it, you know, somebody might stick around there. This nine of coins reversed. I don't think you do want to do it, not necessarily alone. Um, but, like, you, you do want someone around you. It's just, like, I'm busy. But in a good way. So then we have the five of chalices. You're kind of caught between a spot where it's like you want to give to it, yet at the same time, you just don't want to have regrets, but at the same time, you don't want to have regrets that you didn't do the other thing. So really, it's kind of like up to you how we handle this. Oh, it's really raining now. It's like my favorite sound. Ten of Swords. But whatever it is you're done with any kind of, um, like bad not bad thoughts but like you learned your lesson like every single sword was is a lesson and you're kind of ending up ending that cycle of negativity anything that was negative it's like cleared out like i said you're concerned about like if i miss out but you're also not like woohoo let's give to this i don't think you have to worry though because like i said if it's worth it they'll wait you have the Page of Chalices, Ten of Chalices, the Moon, and the Star. So whatever it is, I believe it's legit. And I remember how I said the Moon stuff is there, but it's almost like not showing itself. Yeah. Um, I think in due time, you know, who, whatever opportunity or person pops up, they're going to walk the walk and talk the talk. And it will be nice and fulfilling and something that gets you to where you want to be. And it's not just because you're there or the wind blew you there. It's very deliberate. Because um, then you're freeing up. And like I said, you're going to get a taste. It's going to be like, I can do that. Yes, you can. Because here's the stork. Here's change. It's migration. Storks go to where it's better for them. Let's see, what is better for you, huh? You're you're not quite sure because there's the cloud and the eyeball, but you're looking for recognition. I think in some way maybe you have to figure out what you consider important because with this freedom, you're just like, it, like, what do I do with this now? What are you going to do with it? Oh, you're going to be nice and... I, I call it the fat and happy, but... With the pig, it's like you're going to have more than what you need. So what about this? It's a ship. You know, it's it's almost like, like I said, you get a nibble and you want more. You get a nibble and you want more. The ship is longing. It's like, let's go. Let's make it happen. Yeah, I just feel like when it comes to... Um, anything that you care about, there will be a level of protection to it. Also, you're willing to put the work into it. And I, I'm not saying it's sacrifice, but like I said, if there's a little sweat, you're more than willing to do it. But also, in figuring out where your resolve is, it, you know, just keeps growing. 
It's like compound interest on your intention. Um, and I like that. So give me the change here with the stork. What is that about? Because you're cutting stuff out that's not important. Things you care about. Um, also, if something's closed off and not giving, you know, with a safe, you know, if you can't figure out how to crack it, well, oh well, it goes to the scrapyard in some way. <laughs> like, all right, well, if you're not going to open up, I don't really know what to do with you. Um, but that kind of leaves a little bit of a void where you do figure out what is important. And like I said, when you, when you get a taste, it's like you're going to want more. And you're willing to do what you need to do to make that happen. And I don't mean that in, a, in an addictive way. I just think that once you see what's possible, there's a drive that comes from that where you're like, I want to do that again. That was, that was awesome. Like, let's keep up with this awesomeness. Now, this is the Space Age Lenormand. This is like a funk funk deck. It's funky. So you have loss. Okay. What is that? Okay, that is way too many, guys. Way too many. Physician's been coming out for everybody, but it wasn't that great. Treason? <laughs> I know. It's a very dramatic deck. Very dramatic. So, oh my goodness. Guys, the physician tried to come out again. So, lost, treason, and what else? Don't make me shuffle you. Lost treason. <laughs> All right, I'm not. I'm not calling you bitter, but I feel like you know when you're freeing yourself up from whatever this situation is, and like I said, other people were trying to make you feel like you're outside. Not necessarily less than, but like you had to let go of some stuff and you had to kind of take control. You might find that people are kind of, treason for me is like stuff that's working against you. Stuff that's kind of designed to string you up in some way. And I think the anger, death, and enemy, whatever feeling of, um, you know, like, hey, not cool. Um, it doesn't have to be full-blown rage or anger or whatever. It's like you're almost transmuting that into that change of seeing like whoa that's you know who has your best interest and you're kind of calling stuff out more in that way and you don't have to like scream it from the rooftops or whatever but here's the stork there's a shift there's a change there's a freeing up there's a letting go there's a being done with stuff that is kind of secular or you know hurting your own feelings in some way um, because there is that evolution. I've really, I keep going back to that Eight of Swords reverse. You know, because the cage for me, you know, it's opening up. And the wings, you're actually going to be able to use them. Because with that reversed, anything that's been kind of holding you up, if you're ticked about it, um, kind of, you know, don't try and love and light that. I'm just saying, anger for me is, um is kind of like a signal something's wrong something's rubbing me the wrong way figure it out use that i you know it's a very powerful emotion when used correctly so i mean we feel all these emotions for a reason they're not just in there rattling around to screw us up it's like there's there's a purpose to them so you know take that you know work with it transmute it and figure out what's best for you to move out of it so, um, you know, because anger can be a good catalyst into something else. Um, but like I said, once you start getting attention, you just might be like, I'm busy. But like I said, if it's good, they're going to wait for you. All right. So that's what I have for you. And I'll talk to you later.